If you're like me, who loves AI, but can't simply keep up with AI tools, then I'm gonna make this very easy for you. I've got four productive ways that businesses can use Google's AI Studio in under nine minutes. So if you wanna stick with me, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can use it as a business owner. That's gonna save you time, make you more productive in four different ways. If you don't know me already, my name is Dante, and I'm the founder of Agent Flow, which is helping small business owners and real estate agents use AI in their business. I've been doing this for 12 months and I'm very excited to show you these cool features that I've personally been using and wanna share with you as well. So I constantly scroll through Instagram, TikTok, YouTube to find content that is new and hasn't been used yet. It could be a report and you just wanna know that something is gonna affect you, whether that's a PDF, whether that's a contract, whether that's a PowerPoint presentation. You might be a salesperson and you wanna know something on a contract, but you don't wanna read through a hundred different pages just to get to the one part that you're looking for or arguing with the client on an email. It's true and it happens, but it's a very simple thing. The one thing I love most is that it can actually summarize YouTube videos. So now I'm spending less time on YouTube, becoming more productive, and I'm not getting as much as distracted as I was. I've actually come to Gemini, and this is 2.0, and all I've asked it is, can you please summarize this video without worrying um, about how, uh, and only worrying about how AI, my madness AI can affect business owners and why I should even care. So I've actually put in a recent video for myself, and this is gonna break down how Manus AI is actually useful. So there we go. What is Manus AI? Manus AI is a general AI agent that can handle various tasks, various automations, can do data analysis. I did speak about this, general versus domain AI, and real set applications at the very end. So that's something very cool that I found super useful. And I definitely would try it. It's absolutely free. Just go to the Gemini website and you can use that. Now up next is the most important thing that we think about as business owners, it's customer service. But not only that, how do we enhance our customer service? Well, with AI, it's pretty simple. It's personalization and it's quick responses. Think of it like this. Imagine if you have a flooded inbox with emails and if you need to get back to them in a straight away without bogging you down and getting to the real activities that are gonna move the needle in your business. Well, for me, this would be drafting Gmails and it actually does this, which is insane. And you can even build a tool to do this for you. Also as well as handing frequently asked questions. So I know you probably sound like, you know, repeating yourself like a broken record, but as a business owner, you probably do this all the time. And that's something where AI or even any AI to be quite frank with you, is gonna help. And as well as AI will adapt to your brand to get over that hurdle of people saying, well, how will it not say, you know, things off brand or how do I know that it's gonna say the thing that I want? Well, it's gonna learn from all your emails and all of your data that you've had before because Google already has it. And it's gonna know exactly how you've previously answered a question or resolved a conflict in the past. That's why it's so impactful and why AI tools are just getting better and better, like I always speak about on my channel. Thirdly, and most excitingly, is marketing. So I wanna show you this really quickly in a short demonstration. So here we are on a very simple um, interface, and I'm just gonna upload my current title of the same video that I was using before. I'm just gonna ask, can you please change the text? to America, where ChatGBT is, and Manus, or China. So, put it there, China, simply change text in the left and then right. And if we click run, let's see what happens. Okay, so it actually did it pretty well. As you can see, Obviously, you didn't get the China part, so I'm just going to ask again, can you please change the title um, on the top right where it says Venice and change the word to... And let's see what it does. There you go. So if you were hiring someone to do this, or if you personally had to do this, you don't understand the amount of hours that it would take. Even for myself, 
I hire someone to do this. So firstly, um, a big thing is I help real estate agents a lot is real estate brochures. Imagine how costly it is to go back and forward and change the real estate brochure. Imagine if you have an idea on how something should look or if the photos were taken, not so great. You can just type in a prompt and instead of actually editing things, you just give an AI or the AI agents, which is pretty much what's happening, a task to do. So now you can use what's called natural language processing text and we can change it and we can make a modification that otherwise takes seconds now, used to take minutes. Obviously, I've given the example of a YouTube thumbnail. This can be applied because I know some people use YouTube um, as an advertising uh, space, even for listings, and as well as just promotional content. If you've got something that you're not great with editing, you don't even have to learn the skill anymore. AI is just going to do it for you, and that is honestly something that is going to change a lot of people's lives and I personally believe is going to be a great thing um, for everyone. And last but not least, it's actually this real-time assistant. So I'm very heavily involved in voice AI and text-to-speech and speech-to-text. I use lots of different models. All you need to know is that this is something that I've always dreamed about and I think we need more and more assistance to help people out. And I think it's just gonna help us more as humans just to learn quicker and faster by doing instead of traditional learning and going on thousands of different YouTube videos and websites in order to get one response. So if you, like myself, just looking for one response to help you and you're not great with tech work, then this is like a service in itself and I absolutely love it. So the way you're gonna use it is you're gonna go back to stream real time. So you see here, there's this little thing called stream real time. And what you're gonna do is I've already got my voice here and a camera. So even if you wanna use a camera, you can also use that. You can uh, change the audio output. So you can just text, you can do text if you want, um, or you can use a voice, which is pretty cool. And uh, we're just going to, let's just say, go on a sheet. So you can either upload a file or okay. we can simply... Okay, so it looks like you're working with some kind of file and upload process. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Okay, is there a particular file type you're working with? I just simply just want to use this CSV and learn more how to display data um, in like a graph. I think that's cool. Okay, it sounds like you want to take some data from a CSV file and display it as a graph in the Google Sheet. Is that right? Yeah, that's that's definitely right. That's what I want to do. So okay. how can I do it here? Okay, to make a graph of this data, you'll first need to select the cells with the data that you want to plot. Would you like me to guide you through those steps? Yes, please. Okay, I see that you've already selected the data you want to graph. Now in the menu, go to insert and select chart. Does that make sense? The menu, do you mean by file? This file here? You are correct. The insert option is not in the file menu. Instead, it is next to the view option. Go to the menu and select insert, then select chart. Is it making sense now? Yep. Insert chart. Okay. Great. You have now inserted a chart based on the selected data. Now the chart editor should appear on the right hand side of the screen. Do you see that? Yep, I certainly see that. Okay, the default chart is a histogram. Is that the kind of chart you want, or would you like to explore other options? I think I can take it from here. Okay, it looks like you've successfully changed the chart to a line chart. Is there anything else I can assist you with? So that's how incredible it is. It's getting real-time feedback, and it's getting more peripherals, like looking at the screen in real time and having that uh, generalized knowledge. If you yourself or someone would like help using AI, I would love to have a chat with you and I've been using AI agents and the latest tools at the moment. I love working with new APIs and this is something that I would love to do. And if you have an idea in your head and you want to make that happen, um, I'm already working with multiple businesses in my own startup, but I would love to hear what you have to say because that means the world to me. And I would love to listen to people in my community and what people really wants that way we're on the same page and we can connect and share ideas so if that sounds like something that is interesting to you i always have my calendar open and i would love to discuss how we can make that possible can't wait to see you in the next one and bye for now